The tunic did not have fastness as it was pulled over the head, but some tunics had a simple button and a loop of thread. A keyhole neckline was the most common, although there were other shapes used for the neck opening for both men and women. The poorest people decorated their tunics by braid on the neckline and cuffs. Wealthy people also decorated their tunics with braid, but they also put it on as a hem for their skirt. It would be woven with brightly coloured wool using the tablet weaving technique. Silk was also used to trim a tunic, although only the wealthiest people would wear it, as the importation of the silk was very expensive. Men would usually wear an under-tunic under the tunic. The under-tunic was commonly made out of linen. It wasn't wool because linen is much more comfortable and less irritating than wool. Wool. The picture on screen is what an under-tunic looks like. Making the under-tunic is similar to making an over-tunic and skirt, the only difference being that the over-tunic would hide the under-tunic. There were different styles of trousers in the Viking era. They could range from tight to baggy trousers. Trousers could be made simple or complicated, plus you could even get some with built-in socks. Trousers had no pockets. Without pockets, it meant they had to carry their everyday items in other ways, like having pouches suspended from belts or brooches. It is believed that in the eastern Viking regions, they wore neck, knee to ankle length leg wrappings to gather excess fabric from the baggy trousers they wore. The wraps would consist of two narrow pieces of wool that would be cut... Oh.